Hi everyone. I decided to do this uh, test uh, video, this test that I have done myself to prove to me that there is a effect that is happening that is beneficial using the magnet on the uh, toroid and it's not just uh, the role of it lo lowering its inductance it does something more and um, I did that test but I think you would probably like to see it as well and this is what this video will be so right now I have my inductance meter attached to the uh, split uh, toroid so it's got two coils right and as we saw in the previous video this one has double the inductance of this one which is just wound a single coil the standard way in a toroid so I have the magnet now added to it so that it drops its inductance exactly to this toroid here which are identical cores okay perfectly identical cores perfectly identical wire from the same spool okay the only difference is the split windings which gives double the inductance close to okay but now they're identically matched meaning this one has the same inductance as this one so now as far as uh, electronics are concerned these are two identical coils and if we turn on our inductance meter which is hooked up to that coil there okay we now have this value of inductance the setting on the meter is at 2 henry's so that's 635 approximately milli henry's uh, on that coil there okay so now all we'll do is we'll attach the uh, probes here to the uh, standard wound coil and measure its or take the reading of it okay so both probes are attached and like I said uh, it'll just keep dropping a little bit but uh, they are going to reach exactly the uh, same level just that I had this one connected a little bit longer so as you see it's reaching there 336 and okay maybe there will be a little fraction off but I would say this is definitely close enough okay for a test so so there oops I had just saw 35 there so they're extremely identical okay and what I'll do now is I will attach this one to the uh, MOSFET here to pulse it from our feed battery which is this 12 volt battery here at the back okay I can take this away and I made a so we've got 12.86 volts there and I made an important change here on my capacitor bank uh, meter here for that I've been using for testing to get an accurate uh, current measurement and what I did is that one ohm resistor uh, was is was really just I was maxing out my uh, meter here even though I have very high resolution on that uh, I wasn't getting a good reading so I added this 10 ohm uh, resistor here so that I can have more digits basically on the uh, meter so that's what I have there that's a precision resistor it's 10 ohms rated at 50 watts 1% uh, accuracy so that's a very accurate resistor as far as I'm concerned good enough for the uh, tests and here on the MOSFET that's the RRF 640 uh, I'm going to uh, that's our positive terminal here and the negative is going to be switched here at the MOSFET so I have my single generator attached here from this probe to the gate and the uh, red probe which is the number two probe on my uh, oscilloscope is attached between the gate and the source and the other probe the number one probe the green probe is attached between the source and the uh, drain of the MOSFET so we'll see the data on that on the scope and all the grounds refer to the same location back to the same point and that's our battery there so what we'll do is we shall connect this coil here so I'm connecting that in the rail here of the uh, source uh, sorry the drain and uh, here I will connect the positive 
do the coil. So now we have the coil connected and already I have my signal generator uh, to uh, a certain uh, gain here just so that the MOSFET gate can start uh, to trigger and I'll adjust the frequency to find the most optimum point and that's it about right there and if we look at the uh, scope shot the coil is resonating so there is a resonating point so the resonance really is not happening because of the magnet it's happening because that's the characteristics of that coil at that particular frequency and here's our trigger pulse here to the uh, gate and there is the uh, data on that so we have uh, on the uh, coil itself at 25 volt peak to peak and about uh, 9 volts around RMS uh, because our gate pulse is very minimal so that we can achieve the most uh, efficient result there so as far as current is concerned and there is the uh, frequency that it's resonating at okay so that's the minimal amount of juice I can send to that gate okay and you know for it to give out the maximum uh, output now I'll just change the signal generator just a slight bit and look it's gone there is no resonating point there and turn it back up and it's back and again upwards and it's diminished so there is our resonant point okay and that's the data there so if we now look at how much current we are using that's the voltage across the uh, 10 ohm resistor so that isn't uh, 32 uh, microamps anymore that's actually 320 microamps anymore um, now so that's you know uh, a higher value uh, than it was with just the 1 ohm resistor so that's what it's utilizing and uh, now all what we'll do is we'll connect the other coil which has the magnet which has the identical characteristics as this one now so there should be no doubts in anyone's mind so now we connect one side there having a bit of trouble there okay and we connect our positive we look at our scope shot okay nothing is happening but this coil is resonating at a slightly different frequency uh, not too sure exactly why that is but if I change my if I sweep my signal generator and I go up and you'll see look so there's that coils uh, resonating point and if we look at the uh, data there I can tune it so that we could get the highest uh, peak to peak there oh, it's kind of sensitive I guess I would say that's that's kind of high there and uh, if we now look at the uh, that so we can see it's much more energetic so our peaks are bigger you know and obviously it's that that is showing up in the data there and um, if we now uh, go back to our meter uh, we can see that it's not consuming any energy uh, basically energy is being returned so it is doing that uh, you know the only reason is because of that magnet because all the other characteristics are identical so if we do uh, better fine-tuning I bet that we can get that uh, uh, we can get a better score and let me try and do that there for you so there you go you can now see it uh, having a better score I think that's about as high as it'll go right there so minus uh, 350 uh, micro uh, amps now is, is happening. So that's the difference with adding the magnet. So I think this is uh, undisputable 
And that's about all I can share right now. We're out of time. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.